Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Che here with Chance Creations. And today I am coming on because I've been receiving a lot of inquiries and questions on how I have been able to obtain um, the mama design that a lot of us crafters have been putting on the front of t-shirts and sweatshirts and whatnot people have been wanting to know how how I've been getting the um, middle portion separated from the outline so that is the purpose of this video today so let's go ahead and get started first we're going to come over here to text and my font look like it's already set at varsity. So I'm just going to come over here. And I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to hit my caps. I'm going to type in mama. And I like to bring it up to the top of the screen. And then I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to size the width by... 11.5 and then I'm going to do the height 5 and then I'm going to lock it back and for this design this is going on a size large sweatshirt so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come back to the side here and I'm going to click on shapes and I'm going to click on square. I'm going to take my square. Make it a little bit bigger than the word mama. Bring it down like that. And then I'm just going to select both of those. Then I'm going to come down to the screen here at the bottom and click slice. And then I'm going to delete the box. When we slice, that allowed us to make two, two words now. So one we're going to use for the outline. The other we're going to use for the middle portion of the word. So first we're going to take this one. And we're going to come over here to contour. And I'm going to click on the first two boxes of each letter. So then that will leave us with just the middle portion of the word. And then I'm going to hit the X. So as y'all can see, this is what's left. And now we're going to do the outline next. So I'm going to click on. Going to click on the next word, mama. Come back over here to contour. And now for this, since we're just doing the outline. <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to click on the last. Portion of each letter. To keep just the outline. Then we're going to come up here. And hit X. And that's how it'll look. And for this. Sometimes I keep. Um, the small triangle. Sometimes I keep. This triangle. It really just kind of depends on. Um, how you want your design. So for this one. I want to keep. This medium sized triangle here in the middle. So then I'm going to click on this. And move it. 
down a little bit. And I like to be able to see on my screen what I'm doing. So I like to move it over a little bit. And then I'm gonna click on um, contour. Oh, I moved it to the wrong side, sorry about that. Let's see the moves over here. And then I wanna click on contour. And then that's gonna let us know which portion we are going to be removing. So again, like I said, you can decide which middle triangle you want to keep. If it's the small one, the medium, or the bigger one. And I want to get rid of this one. So I'm going to come over here and click on contour. Now I'm just going to scroll down. So, I'm just kind of showing you guys, like, the different ways you can go about obtaining the different triangles for whichever one you would like to keep for your design. So, like I said, for me, I just kind of um, pick and choose how I want my design to pop out on the shirt. So, like I said, sometimes I'll keep this one. Sometimes I'll keep this little tiny small one. It just depends. I kind of like to do the shirts a little different each time. And then I'm just going to come back over here. And here's what we have left. And this is how I want my design this time. I'm deciding to keep it this way. So when we do our layering, we'll bring this up here. So then we'll have The middle section and the A's will pop out. So then the next thing that I like to do is, so when it's time to print, so the, the two layers will um, print on, cut on different mats. I like to come up here to the operations box and click on the color. So for the outline, let's just say, Let's just click gold. And then for the middle section, we can just click on, hmm, let's just do blue for the purpose of this video. So, you know, blue and gold. So then now you can see what I'm saying, how that middle little triangle will pop out there. That'll make the whole design pop. So that's it for this portion of the video. This is part one. I'm going to come back with a part two on how I align on the shirts and how I press on the shirts. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all to receive all of the notifications. Thanks so much and have a great day.